It's Monday, December 1st, 2014. It is my drink three liters of water today. I am, uh, three liters is six of these cups. And I have drank one, two, three. So I'm already halfway there. And it is 4 p.m. It's a good start for my goal for the day. Today I'm making, uh, I have higher carbs now and a little less protein actually, but I'm gonna make some French toast because I haven't had it in a really long time and it sounds really good. So that is what I'm brewing up over here. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna use one whole egg this time. No, actually I already had peanut butter today. I'm gonna just use egg whites. That's how flexible dieting works. It's like, should I use whole egg or no? I already had the peanut butter. Okay, egg whites it is. With cinnamon, a little sprinkle of stevia, and uh, I'm gonna use this bread right here. The nature's own 40 calorie honey wheat. I also have like sprouted Ezekiel bread in the fridge, but that one I find doesn't hold the egg white as well. It doesn't make as fluffy, delicious French toast. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one today. I make it a goal to get about 50 grams of egg whites per slice of bread. So we've got four slices of bread, 200 grams of egg whites. I've got my cinnamon and my trivia. since you can never have enough cinnamon. Some people like to add like almond milk or other little ingredients to it. I personally just like to keep it as simple as possible. So just egg white, cinnamon, stevia. You don't even really need the stevia, honestly. Um, and I like to let it cook very thoroughly because I don't like it to be juicy at all. I like to be very cooked. So I let it stay on one side for at least like a minute. And then flip it. Oop, really fast though, it's a really simple meal. Absolutely delicious. Top it with whatever kind of topping you want. You can do honey, you can do sugar-free syrup. I'm gonna use Walden Farms. You could use 100% maple syrup. Um, just whatever floats your boat. So that is uh, our French toast for the day. It's beautiful. Beautiful work. All right, so I'm waiting on Christian to get back. He's going to coach me through my um, leg session tonight because uh, he just kind of makes me go, pushes me harder than I would myself. But I just thought I'd share with you my sad little snack. Not sad, but I mean, I'm kind of sad because I'm obsessed with peanut butter. Am I talking really fast? This Jif Whipped chocolate peanut butter I finished off today. And so I put a container of Dane and Lighten Fit Greek yogurt into the empty thing of Jif, and now it's kind of like, Slightly peanut butter chocolatey yogurt, and it's pretty delicious. I don't even like yogurt, so I'm gonna just throw that recommendation out there for you. I know, you can thank me later. Disgusting the cat. <laughs> <laughs> called a hollow back handstand. And I'm probably not gonna do it very gracefully. <laughs> there. <laughs> Tell me when. There you go, that looks good. I think I'm good. Look pretty lean. In the fridge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Victory!
Come on. Yes. Here I have measured out 85 grams of fresh cut green beans, to this, and then 100 grams of orange bell pepper. I'm gonna eat that, it's good. And then this stuff is broccoli slaw. I saw it on my friend's channel. I just thought it'd make like a good kind of stir fry. My friend Ashley did a stir fry on her channel and it looked really good, so. Put all that together, cooked up some beef. Gonna make that into the sloppy Jonas that I love. And that's what we're having for dinner. And then, I have 40 carbs left and I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't even know. So the veggie stir fry was so good, I'm just gonna share with y'all what I seasoned it with really quick. I put um, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Tony's Creole light seasoning, and just a, like a tiny bit of soy sauce, but it, it packed a ton of flavor. You can also use Bragg's liquid aminos, that'll give you the same kind of soy sauce flavor without um, all the excess sodium, if you're worried about that. That is what I seasoned just the veggie thing with, and then I ate most of that. And now, I've made my sloppy joe tomato sauce, Mrs. Dash sloppy joe, beef, and there it is. Looks good, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on there and that's gonna be the end of actual dinner. Have some if you want. Thank <laughs> you.